Today I'm gonna be unboxing the Halo Infinite Xbox Series X Limited Edition. I'm grateful to be able to have one in the studio. I had this since day one. I placed my pre-order through Target whenever it was the pre-order day. I wanted to spend time with family, take a break from YouTube a little bit, but nonetheless, it's here in the studio and it is time to unbox it. And of course, I'm gonna be comparing it to the standard Xbox Series X. Now the Halo Infinite Limited Edition Xbox Series X, exactly the same as a standard Xbox, but you just have the all the cool aesthetics going on. The box looks different. And of course, celebrating with the release of Halo Infinite Multiplayer. The campaign is coming out on December 8th. They wanna drop a limited edition console, especially for the holiday. All right, enough of the babbling, let's get right into it. And here it is, the Halo Infinite Xbox Series X Limited Edition. The box is way too big to fit in the frame. Now I gotta give credit where it's due. Xbox has one of the best unboxing experience on the console. Yo, and look at the top. This is beautiful. I'll be very careful with this. I wanna keep the box in pristine condition. Whoa, look at this. Yo, if this isn't a collector's item, I don't know what is. Celebrating 20 years of Xbox and Halo. This is a, a nice dope box to keep. Man, Xbox is killing it, man. They killed it this year. I know some of you guys want to see PlayStation videos, but look at this. Okay, so the side of the box, you have Halo Infinite. I'm enjoying the Halo Infinite multiplayer. And of course, we have Master Chief facing the other way or in a different stance. It's like you're ready to roll. All right, so let's open this up and let's see the console in action. Well, really, I could just cut this, right? Let's do it this way. Yo, this box is so dope, yo. Smells like a respawn, okay. And just like the regular Series X unboxing, it presents you with the console itself right away. Okay, put that on the side. Of course, we have the digital copy of Halo Infinite. It's actually already installed in the system. So there's no code, nothing like that. As soon as you power up the system, it should be already installed. But the game is releasing on December 8th. And just look at the attention to details here. We got the stars on the box. Look at this. This is, this is incredible, man. <laughs> and you have your usual power cable. High speed HDMI, usual manual, nothing too special there. But what is special is this controller. To match on with the console design's aesthetic, this is how the controller look. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And you can actually feel too, like you can feel the textures here too. Xbox is knocking it out of the park this year. Ooh, and look, celebrating 20 years of Xbox. Wow. You have this gold and steel aesthetic going on. This looks stunning. And unfortunately, it still takes batteries. And that's one thing with me. I absolutely love a good unboxing experience. And now, time for the Coupe de Gras, the console itself. Okay, so right away, 20 years of Xbox. And just like throughout the box design, you have all the, like these stars going on. I'm a big fan of stars. <laughs> okay, let me carefully put this because, like I said, this is gonna be a collector's item. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna use this Xbox. I don't want it to collect dust. I want this to be mounted up somewhere, showcase my true love for Xbox. I love PlayStation too. I just love gaming, man. And it got that smell too. That smell, that new tech smell. What? Oh, oh my goodness. Look at the color scheme. The steel, the blue, the gold. Oh, baby. Wow. The gold, the blue aesthetics. I, I consider this as like a steely blue like a midnight blue kind of like but that top oh man this is so beautiful <laughs> and of course you have your xbox and you know logo right there 
a lot of Halo stuff going on on the side. And you can actually feel the textures too. Well, on the top, that is. And then on the back, celebrating 20 years of Xbox. Wow. Bravo, Microsoft. This is a beautiful looking console. And of course, comparing it to the standard Xbox. Yeah, it's literally day and night. You have the simple black. You have the Halo aesthetic. So, And honestly, I would be honest. Halo Infinite multiplayer is worth buying an Xbox for. Period. It, you're going to have a lot of fun. In my opinion, it's the multiplayer game of the year. I know I might get a lot of hate for it, but man, Halo Infinite is that is that much fun. Once you configure your settings, everything is tweaked up. You're going to be killing noobs in no time. <laughs> Whoa, the attention to details. I noticed the fans have the same exact aesthetic with the blue. The blue painting. The grills is painted, but the fans, if you look at it very closely, the fans is also painted too. Wow. And before I move forward, here's another look at the controller. And here's the Elite Controller Series 2, Halo Infinite Edition. I've been using this controller for a week now, and it definitely improves your game. You got the trigger stops, the paddles on the back, improved D-pad. This is a beautiful looking controller, but I'm going to be rocking out with the Elite Controller, period. Yeah, so just let that sink in. Here's how they look side by side. Which one would you go with? You have the military green with the orange D-pad, and then you have this. I like the aesthetics. I like them both. I'm not even going to say that in cap. I love both of these controllers. But I prefer the Elite controller for the functionality and everything like that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this one. And comment down below what you guys think about the Halo Infinite Xbox Series X Limited Edition. Until next time, peace.